Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about adding click event to multiple button or how can we use multiple button with click events. So, let's start. So, I'll uh, come to this project and to this example and now I will create here a new file, Java file. So, I'll click on this and new java file and i name this uh, multiple buttons event and now i'll click finish now the project is created so first we will create uh, a j frame so i'll come here to top and first we will create the uh, constructor of this class so I'll use public multi and control space and control z this and I'll come here and I'll control space enter and now I'll put parentheses and then curly braces now we have created the constructor so now we will create a jframe so jframe frame equals new j frame and i'll put semicolon and now i have to import this frame so i'll uh, import this and now i'll uh, enter here and now we will use frame dot dot set default close operation and here I will use jframe dot exit on close and now we will use a frame dot dot set bounds this one and now I'll use a zero zero and uh, 500 and 500 now it is uh, it will create a 500 cross 500 j frame now here i will use a container so con container container equals frame dot get the content pen semicolon and now i'll import this container import and uh, now I'll click enter and now we will set the layout to this container so container dot set layout and we will use null layout so null and now I'll enter and enter and now here I will use frame dot set visible and true and now if I run this file run file now you will see a j frame so now the uh, program is running but it is not showing up any frame because i always forgot target this to create the uh, object here so multiple control space and button events so btn events equals new this n is small and uh, multiple control space enter and now I'll put semicolon now if I run it again now it will work now you can see a 500 cross 500 j frame here so now we will create the buttons so um, I'll uh, create here a button so j button uh, btn equals new j button and now i'll pass in here the name of the button button uh, one and now i'll put semicolon here now i have to import this button so i'll click on this and import and now we will use 
button dot set uh, bounds so btn dot set uh, bounds control space bounds and now I'll pass in uh, 100 and now here I will pass uh, uh, 10 and here I'll pass this is the width so I'll pass uh, 200 and for height I will pass uh, 40 and now I'll add this button to the container so container control space dot add component and now all uh, add btn is also already added so I'll put semicolon now if I run this file now you can see button one on your screen I can click it now I'll move it a bit that side too so I will make this 150 now I'll copy this Control C this and now I'll control V it here and then I'll control V it here so um, three buttons are in up so I'll make this two this three this uh, two and this two as well and now I'll change this uh, on this y-axis so we have made this button uh, 10 from the top and then we have given a width of uh, 40 so 10 plus 40 so it becomes 50 so I'll pass here 70 or 60 so 70 is n up and now this is 70 and uh, for button 3 how much uh, space we pass here from the stand to 60 so 60 plus 70 so it will become um, button 2 this one and 60 plus 70 and this is 130 so 130 and this will become button 3 and this will become button 3 as well and this one also button 3 now if I run this let's check the design if it looks ok so now you can see three buttons with equal space in between them so now we are good to go so we will add action listener to this so for that we will go to top and first we will implement here action listener so implements action and now if I control space this so action listener now it will ask me to implement all abstract methods so I'll implement all abstract method and now if I come down you will see this method is created or implemented here now we have to add this click event to our button so for that I will come here first I will add it, it to this uh, first button so btn dot add add action listener and I'll pass this because of this class this multiple button events so we are using this so that is why we will pass here this now similarly I'll copy this and control C this and now I'll control V it here and now I'll make this button 2 and I will not add to this button 3 uh, so that we can we know how it works now if I go here and uh, in this uh, action performed and if I comment this 
and if I say this if uh, org 0 dot get source equals equals btn then do what then show a message box um, j option control space and now option pen dot show message we will learn about this j option pen in a later session but for now we will use this and uh, now here i will pass in uh, this is button one and now this is showing an error because we haven't created this globally so i'll uh, go to the top and i'll create a j button here i'll remove this and j button uh, btn comma btn 2 comma btn 3 semicolon and now i'll go down and remove this button j button from here this one as well because now we have created our buttons globally so that we can access it everywhere in our program so now this button had stopped uh, showing error now this parent component is uh, showing error so to fix this we have to uh, uh, create our frame globally as well j frame so i'll come here and here i will use uh, j frame and uh, a frame semicolon and now here from here i will remove this and now we will go down and pass in frame here because that is our root pen so frame now we are good to go now i'll copy this and uh, paste this down and to c and now if i paste it here control v and now i'll make this button 2 and this uh, 2 as well and now i'll paste it once again control v and now i'll make this uh, button 3 and this 3 as well and I'll put a curly brace here now we are good to go now if I run this file run file now the file is running so if I click on this button 1 now you can see this is button 1 is shown now if I click on button 2 this is button 2 is shown and if I click on this button 3 nothing is uh, it is doing nothing because we have write uh, the code here but if I go to top we haven't added this action listener to this button 3 we have added it to button 1 and button 2 but not button 3 so if I add this btn three dot add action listener this and now if I run it again run file now the programming is running again now if I click on button one it is showing up if I click on button three this is button three is showing up as well so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you